Hello, everybody out there. Uh, just as I turned on the camera, my cell phone decided to go nuts, so I had to address that before moving on to the business of the day. Uh, I got to scratch my head too. Basically, once again, do oh wow, look at that. That is what you call a. Uh, I don't know what you call that. Um, certainly not hair. Uh, anyhow, as mentioned in the title i got myself a little mystery envelope i'm going to open and uh see what's inside as I, i'm pretty sure it's kickstarter i backed a while uh, i backed some time ago based on the address or the uh sending address on it because it's from uh dora mitchell who is an artist and a comic book writer and she had a web series uh, sort of a uh, it, sort of a young adult sort of thing. It was a cross between tone wise. It was a cross between. Well, here's the envelope. I guess I should you know, show it on the camera. Um, Dora Mitchell, uh, like I said, is an artist and a comic book writer. Uh, she does mostly uh, children's and young adult stuff. It seems, and one of the things she was doing. Uh, a couple of years ago was a, a web series called nine crow or nine crows uh she was releasing uh, I, I discovered after she had done basically two-thirds of the story and found it uh, interesting and wanted to see where it was going then she uh spot uh, put up a kickstarter for her for a collected version of the stories and then i stopped reading because i wanted to wait until i could see the whole thing in the book and i'm thinking this is the book so today i actually remember to get a knife for this uh unboxing so it'll be a little easier than it has been in the past uh, or maybe not oh, oh, that was much easier all right let's see if i am right that this is indeed my copy of uh the nine pro graphic novel yes Yes, it is. It is the Nine Crow uh, book, uh, a collection of the web series. And so now I can finally read the ending. And as I was saying, it's uh, tone wise, it seems like it's a cross between uh, kind of Nancy Drew and what? Oh, hey, Julie Weaver has come in to say hi. Hello. over. The, hello. Uh, so I'm not just talking to myself at this point. I'm actually speaking to uh, somebody else. Yay. That's always nice. Uh, <laughs> so, but Nine Crow, it is a, uh, as I said, it's a, seems like it's a little bit of a cross, I feel like a cross between it's kind of a, a Nancy Drew kind of story with a, with a teenage girl solving Mister the mystery of the new town she finds herself in after her mom relocates there with her and at least what i envision uh the goosebumps series to be i've never actually read any of the goosebumps stories so i'm, I'm just or seen the movies or anything so i'm just guessing on what i think the tone of those are but this uh you've got cults you've got mysterious uh situation that seems like people are being mind controlled uh there's perverts uh it's not ex it, the town that she moves the little town that she moves to is a very strange place and uh it seems to be increasingly dangerous if she doesn't solve the mysteries there i haven't read the ending of the book but now that i have it oh, let me just see what if there's anything else in the envelope since i tossed that yeah um when i'm done with this i will put uh, a link to uh dora mitchell's website down below um oh oh jesse hello welcome i just noticed you over there so let me see if there's anything else in the envelope then i'll get to there's something dangling off the book so when I, uh, I backed this Kickstarter, as I said some time ago, and I'm just interested, interested in the book, I don't know if there are any bonuses or extras or, or anything else fancy, 
All right, there's nothing else in the envelope. There's just the book. And okay, so there's something dangling off it, so we'll see. Um, well, let's first start with whatever this is. Oh, there's stuff inside. Extra stuff other than pages. A couple of postcards. Well, looks like a nice snapshot from Nine Crow. <laughs> yeah, this this is kind of the tone of the town that uh, the book is set in. Uh, oh, and so it basically it's, this is a this is a drawing from a Mitchell or or by Mitchell. I just noticed on the back that it is autographed. So that's one thing in the package. Another thing is this. Um, I think I recognize the drawing from uh, things I've seen on, on her website. I should probably move over so you can see my beautiful face. Uh, things I've seen on her website. Um, I forget the title of the, of the book, but um, it's something else. It's an, something else is in another title that she's done. I think she has like five or six titles out at this point that are, like I said, they're available on her website and on Amazon as well, I believe. So what else is tucked away in here? Um, oh, cute little sticker. Amusingly enough, uh, Another cute little sticker. An acquaintance of mine uh, just mentioned stickers, Kickstarter stickers on his uh, Facebook page recently that uh, well, down to he was trying to do stickers before it was the, the interesting that people were doing. And then we have Inky Beast Comics, which is uh, Mitchell's self-publishing imprint, I believe. All right, what else? There is a bookmark with something hanging off the bookmark, something heavy hanging off the bookmark. So a bookmark has uh, nine, the Nine Crow title on it. And this will be very handy for me because uh, I try to read these things. I get you know three or four pages, of, pages at a time, then I get interrupted, I got to put it away. And I don't like dog earring books, so either I have to grab some random scrap of paper um, or just whatever happens to be handy to use as a bookmark. So this will go back in the book and it'll be very handy as I'm reading through the book. But what are these heavy things hanging off it? They're wrapped in paper. Yeah. Well. We may never know what is in this, uh, what is wrapped inside these papers, because I can't seem to get in. This is riveting YouTubing. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, you guys can stand the suspense. Well, or you can hope that maybe the knife slips and something truly interesting happens here. <clears throat> well, let's hope not. Let's I need my face and my hands and everything else. Okay, so we got wrapping within the wrapping. And, oh. Well, that's interesting. I now understand why this was wrapped, because uh, okay, um, this is actually a cute little uh, a little tchotch tchotchke and uh like i said the nine crow logo was on the bookmark as i showed and also then there's these things dangling off it and one is a sort of a curio portrait of a crow sitting there uh, it's metal i think Feels like it. And then there's also a 
uh, sort of a bird skull or plague doctor mask kind of thing. It's also dangling off it. So that's a, again, a thematically appropriate for the book. Little uh, add on that was probably, uh, uh, what do they call that? Milestone? A bonus for the campaign reaching a certain level, I assume. But as I said, the book is really what I wanted. And now I have it on the back. There's uh, there's crows flying through a spooky night sky. Uh, seems to be a high quality book. Binding is looks to be sturdy, which is great. Um, it's glossy paper. Just opening up to a random spot here. Uh, you can see some samples of. Uh, I'm hoping you can see this, see the page clearly. I, I can't see when I'm doing this. Can't see what I'm. I have two monitors. I should get in the habit of uh, opening a second screen over on that monitor so I can see what the heck I'm doing on the camera when I hold things up. But yeah, it's. High quality binding. Um, high quality book, high quality printing. You've got art on the end pages as well. I don't know if that can be seen or not, because again, idiot that I am. Uh oh. I was praising the binding, and now I'm not so sure. Yeah, well, we'll see how it holds up as I'm reading, but I'm looking forward to finally getting to learn the secrets of Nine Crow. And uh oh, I shouldn't have gone to the back part of the book because there's our main character in very deep trouble, apparently. So, yeah. I didn't have this thing called a job I have to go to. I would be reading this this afternoon. So yeah, that was that's my copy of Nine Crow. It's arrived. Um, I will be putting a a uh, a link to Dora Mitchell's website down below. I am hoping that uh, and I'll be posting a review of this over on the Shades of Grey blog. Sicky time. Jesse, that is a brilliant suggestion. Um, <laughs> um, gosh, yeah, fortunately today is one of those days where I absolutely have to be there. Uh, <laughs> or it, it's maybe I'll put it in my in, in my bag and in, and if things get slow, then I can always break it out and read some comics and hope nobody notices. Uh, hey, Luke, welcome. And uh, welcome to from, yeah, Ireland. Wow. It's uh, one place I, I, I didn't make it to when I was living over there. And well, one of many places, but I did not make it to Ireland. Hopefully someday I will get back over there and I will get to Ireland because it is, by everything I can see, a very beautiful place. And... Um, there are some folks over there that I also wouldn't mind visiting and 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 uh, saying hi to in person that I've met over the years and have corresponded with. So, but yeah, like I said, Nine Crows or Nine Crow, uh, I'll be reading that. Uh, we'll be doing a review over at Shades of Grey. Oh, and also, oh wow, we've got people from opposite sides of the globe here. Jesse's down in Australia, and Luke is is in Ireland. Um, don't know if Julie is still around or where she's coming from, but yeah, yeah, Australia. What it's two in the morning? No, it's not that late. It's what seven. Uh, 
Six thirty. Okay. All right. I was kind of close when I did the math again in my head. <laughs> Yeah, Australia is a place that I will probably never get to. That is so far away. Um, but friends have been down there, and they have they have uh, they have said great things too. So, yeah, yeah, I I, uh, I still have people I'm in touch with in England and Denmark and uh, just actually England and Denmark now is where they're living. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of attuned to, to the times in, in, in Europe, but you're a day ahead of us, right, Jesse? So it's the fort, it's the 14th. Sorry. Yeah. 14th where you are, right? Or is Yeah, that's what I thought. I was just trying to remember. Yeah, and uh, even though I jokingly say I I, I live in Slaughter Valley, um, I'm actually in the U.S. in Washington State. So, so yeah, we are. We almost got the corners of the globe covered here. Uh, just need someone just to. to come in from uh, far eastern Russia or Japan, and then we'll, we'll, we'll be set. <clears throat> or Siberia, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's basically all I had. I just wanted to to see what was on, in, in the envelope. And, you know, if it, if it had been some sort of uh, horrible device or or strangeness. Hey, I would have had a, uh, a viral video, right? Be famous, internet famous. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to be that kind of internet famous. Uh, but anyhow, um, this was going to be just a short little 20-minute thing because uh, I, as I was mentioning earlier, as much as I would, as much as I find the idea appealing of calling in sick. So I could focus on reading the last third of the of Nine Crow. Yeah, they do kind of need me to be at the job today. So I shall be heading out there momentarily. And thank you guys for for, for stopping by. Uh, Jesse, Luke. Yeah, I think actually, Luke, this is probably the first time I've seen you in the side chat. I think Jesse has been here once before. And oh, Luke, thank you for saying that. Um, I, <laughs> I'm doing that just because it amuses me, like pretty much everything I do on this channel, but part of me also wants to know what people think. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that, uh, that someone out there is enjoying the, the, po the poetry recitals. Um, <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate the commentary feedback. is always good. Um, I don't need to know that I should be picking my nose on camera. Uh, but it's very itchy right now. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for the feedback, Luke. I appreciate it. And now I'm going to have to have to have to call it. And again, thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for commenting. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to do this again. And I. Uh, Maybe I'll do it in a circumstance where I'm not, uh, <laughs> yes, best get on with the nose picking, exactly. Um, and hopefully it won't be a day where I need to rush off to do other things. So thanks again. And, uh, well, Luke, don't be shy around here. We're all very friendly. Um, well, I'm friendly most of the time, even, you know, despite some of the signs that get put on my office. <laughs> <laughs> which I will have to tell that story here on YouTube someday. Anyhow, I am out of here. Thanks again, guys. And uh, like I said, I'll be putting a link to Dora Mitchell's website down below and uh, underneath this video. And I encourage everybody to go check out her stuff. Uh, Nine Crow is also available to be read online. 
I'll put a link to that as well so you, people can go and sample it. Thanks again for stopping by, Luke, Julie, Jesse, and I will talk to you all later. I'm going to click the first button. Then I will click the next button and we are clear.